Hello, grade 10. In this session, we will start with section 2 of chapter 2, and we are going to talk about the Mexican history and culture. Please open your books on page 42. The big idea here is that the Native American cultures and Spanish colonization shaped Mexican history and culture. The main ideas are early cultures of Mexico included the Olmec, the Maya, and the Aztec. Mexico's period as a Spanish colony and its struggles since independence have shaped its culture. Spanish and native cultures have influenced Mexico's customs and traditions today. Early cultures People first came to Mexico many thousands of years ago. As early as 5,000 years ago, they were growing beans, peppers, and squash. They also domesticated an early form of corn. Farming allowed these people to build the first permanent settlements in the Americas. Mexico included the Olmec, the Maya, and the Aztec. Olmec By about 1500 BC, the Olmec people in Mexico were living in small villages. The Olmec lived on the humid southern coast of the Gulf of Mexico, where they built temples and giant statues. They also traded carved stones like jade and obsidian with other cultures in eastern Mexico. Maya A few hundred years later, the Maya built on the achievements of the Olmec. Between about AD 250 and 900, the Maya built large cities in Mexico and Central America. In these cities, they built stone temples to worship their gods. They studied the stars and developed a detailed calendar. They also kept written records that scholars still study today to learn about Maya history. However, scholars do not fully understand why Maya civilization suddenly collapsed sometime after 900. Aztec After the decline of the Maya civilization, people called the Aztecs moved to central Mexico from the north. In 1325, they built their capital on an island in a lake. This capital grew into one of the largest and most impressive cities of its time. The Aztecs also built a large, powerful empire. An empire is a land with different territories and peoples under a single ruler. The Aztecs built their empire through conquest. They defeated their neighboring tribes in war. Then they forced the other people to pay taxes and to provide war captives for sacrifice to the Aztec gods. Colonial Mexico and Independence In spite of its great size and power, the Aztec Empire did not last long after the first Europeans landed in Mexico. In 1519, Hernán Cortés, a Spanish soldier, arrived in Mexico with about 600 men. These conquerors gained allies from other tribes in the region. They also had guns and horses, which the Aztecs had never seen before. The new weapons terrified the Aztecs and gave the Spanish an advantage. The Spanish also brought European diseases such as smallpox, the Aztecs had no resistance to these diseases, so many of them died. Greatly weakened, the Aztecs were defeated. In 1521, Cortes claimed the land for Spain. Colonial times After the conquest, Spanish and American Indian peoples and cultures mixed. This mixing formed a new Mexican identity. Spaniards called people of mixed European and Indian ancestry mestizos. 
When Africans were brought to America as slaves, they added to this mix of peoples. The Spaniards called people of mixed European and African ancestry mulattoes. Africans and American Indians also intermarried. Life in colonial Mexico was greatly influenced by the Roman Catholic Church. Large areas of northern Mexico were left to the church to explore and to rule. Church outposts, known as missions, were scattered throughout the area. Priests at the missions learned native languages and taught the Indians Spanish. They also worked to convert the American Indians to Catholicism. In addition, the Spaniards wanted to find gold and silver in Mexico. American Indians and enslaved Africans did most of the hard physical labor in the mines. As a result, many died from disease and overwork. Like mining, agriculture became an important part of the colonial economy. After the conquest, the Spanish monarch granted haciendas or huge expenses of farm or ranch land to some favored people of Spanish ancestry. Peasants, usually Indians, lived and worked on these haciendas. The haciendas made their owners very wealthy. Independence. Spain ruled Mexico for almost 300 years before the people of Mexico demanded independence. The revolt against Spanish rule was led by a Catholic priest named Miguel Hidalgo. In 1810, he gave a famous speech calling for the common people to rise up against the Spanish. Hidalgo was killed in 1811, but fighting continued until Mexico won its independence in 1821. Later struggles. Fifteen years after Mexico gained its independence, a large area, Texas, broke away. Eventually, Texas joined the United States. As a result, Mexico and the United States fought over Texas and the location of their shared border. This conflict led to the American-Mexican War, in which Mexico lost nearly half of its territory to the United States. In the mid-1800s, Mexico forced other challenges. During this time, the popular president, Benito Juarez, helped Mexico survive a French invasion. He also made reforms that reduced the privileges of the church and the army. In spite of these reforms, in the early 1900s, the president helped the hacienda owners take land from peasants. Also, foreign companies owned huge amounts of land in Mexico and in turn influenced Mexican politics. Many Mexicans thought the president gave these large landowners too many privileges. As a result, the Mexican Revolution broke out in 1910. The fighting lasted 10 years. One major result of the Mexican Revolution was land reform. The newly formed government took land from the large landowners and gave it back to the peasant villages. Culture. Mexico's history has influenced its culture. For example, one major influence from history is language. Most Mexicans speak Spanish because of the Spanish influence in colonial times. Another influence from Spain is religion. About 90% of all Mexicans are Roman Catholic. However, Mexico's culture also reflects its American Indian heritage. For example, many people still speak American Indian languages. In Mexico, a person's language is tied to his or her ethnic group. Speaking an American Indian language 
identifies a person as Indian. Mexicans also have some unique cultural practices that combine elements of Spanish influence with the influence of Mexican Indians. An example of this combining can be seen in a holiday called Day of the Death. This holiday is a day to remember and honor dead ancestors. For a quick summary, in this section, we learned that Mexico's early cultures formed great civilizations, but after the conquest of the Aztec Empire, power in Mexico shifted for Spain. Spain ruled Mexico for nearly 300 years before Mexico gained independence. Mexico's history and its mix of Indian and Spanish backgrounds have influenced the country's culture. In the next section, you will learn about life in Mexico today. Now please, I want you to highlight and study the main ideas in your books, and I want you to complete Section 2 Assessment on page 46. This homework is due April 29. Thank you and have a good day.